Parrot tweeted out the other day saying crazy how creators can get away with stuff like this nowadays with a video linked comparing his video to a Spanish YouTuber's video. The only thing is this Spanish YouTuber has completely copied the video scene for scene. The environments are the same, the characters are the same, basically how he's speaking is the same. It may as well be a dubbed version of Parrot's video. But it got me thinking, how many other videos has this YouTuber stolen? So today we're going to be looking at the YouTuber named Awita. Awita is a fairly new YouTuber with their oldest video being from 10 months ago and they're using this one tactic to grow their channel massively because the audience they are targeting don't watch English speaking YouTubers. Meaning they can pretty much steal anybody's videos and their audience won't even know it. It's quite scary that this is still happening. The tactic that this guy is using is basically finding the most viewed videos from English speaking YouTubers and copying the video idea, the thumbnail, the entire video at this rate. It's very sneaky and very smart at the same time. Obviously it's disgusting because there's no creativity behind it. He's obviously in this for the views and the money and he won't really get called out by anyone because not many people know about this. So let's get into showing you the sort of proof and how much this guy's actually stolen because it's ridiculous. And we start off with these videos which has Thanos and Iron Man in the thumbnails. Both of these videos thumbnails, ideas and stuff in the video has all been stolen from Half Tone. Now Awita does put in the description that he's inspired by Half Tone but there's inspiration and there's copying. What's even crazier is if you look at the Thanos thumbnail and you look at Half Tone's thumbnail it's the same character, it's the same pose and everything. And if we go into Awita's video when he's making Thanos it doesn't look like the character in the thumbnail. So what he's done is grabbed Halftone's thumbnail, cut Thanos out and put it on a different background. It's actually crazy the lens they'll go to just to steal a thumbnail rather than making your own. It's the same for the Iron Man thumbnail, but this one's a bit more obvious. You can tell it's the same pose and angle, but what Awita has done is blasted up the saturation. Actually mental. Now you'll see from me just scrolling down this guy's channel, the majority of these thumbnails and ideas are from a different YouTuber. You can pretty much pick out a random video on the channel and you'll find the exact same one from an English YouTuber about four or five months before he uploaded. But this brings me on to his most recent video. Now this video has been copied from Parrot and rather than just the thumbnail being copied and a few elements in the video, this is scene for scene the same video that Parrot made just in Spanish and with different character skins. You'll even see that some of the environments have been slightly adjusted just so people don't call him out for copying Parrot. You can see Prince Zan's head in Parrot's video but it's been changed to this blue one. It's extremely weird. Even things like the pattern of these blocks and the way that this scene is shot right now where he's been flung up into the air is all so similar that you'd have to be stupid to not say it's a replica of Parrot's video. Now Awita does put in the description that he's inspired by Parrot and that this video is an adaption of Parrot's video. But it just doesn't make it right. You can give what you call credit all you want even though it's just one line in the description and nobody's really going to read that. But you have just literally copied the entire thing. There's no creativity. There's not really inspiration. You have just dubbed over his video and then attempted to replicate every scene in the video. It's extremely weird, if anything. And obviously he's seen that Parrot's doing well on YouTube and he's seen a video that has performed well and he wants to replicate it because then his video will do well for his audience. And it does make sense why he'd do that. But it's just a weird budget knockoff made to get views and money. And the thing is, Awita isn't the only person I've seen do this. There's a ton of other YouTubers who don't speak English and have a completely different audience who do this sort of thing all the time. So if you want me to check out more channels like this, then make sure you do subscribe.